What's going on? It's Dmitry from FlexRC and today I have something exciting with you. This is my latest design of the micro freestyle frame, which I called Kalugo. This frame is designed with versatility in mind, which means uh, you can build with it pretty much anything you want and use almost any components you can think of. Uh, first off, it is very easy to build because it consists from two plates. One of them is top plate, another one is bottom plate. Then it has replaceable arms, which are held by three screws. It has a replaceable camera protection plate as well. It features ultra large strap mounting holes over here, and you can use two battery straps in order to hold battery of uh, pretty much any size you can think of. In my case, I'm using 1500 uh, milliamps free and four as batteries. Uh, the one I like is R-Line from Tattoo. I have it on the website, uh, link at the bottom uh, in the description of this video. And another one I'm using is uh, a mini star from uh, China Hobby Line uh, batteries, which is also available at the website for the purchase. Uh, the way you will um, strap the battery is that you can just uh, use straps similar to this. Uh, and uh, especially it's good if it is anti-slippery one, then you won't need to put here anything. Uh, you will just insert strap like that and you insert another side over here, meaning that it's very easy, you see, to insert it. There is no suffering involved whatsoever, as it is usually the case with uh, narrower uh, battery straps. And then you can put your battery and just zip it like that. And it will uh, stay securely on the drone. And then obviously you will use uh, the second battery strap as well. Another great feature of this uh, frame is that it supports uh, dual 20 by 20 stock. As well as single 30.5 by 30.5 stock, which is mounted over here. Which means if you have some legacy or simply a bigger size uh, of electronics, you can still use it with this frame, which is very unique. Next advantage of this frame is that you are able to uh, use it with uh, 11XX motors, so uh, such as 1105, 1106, 1108, 1107 motors, as well as uh, 1406, 58, whatever numbers are there, motors. It uh, supports all of these mounting patterns, so there will be no issue using any kind of motor you have on hand. Another cool feature of this frame is that you can use either micro or mini cameras. Uh, you know, micro cameras, they're usually 19 millimeters wide, and uh, mini cameras, they are usually 22 millimeters wide. In this case, I'm using uh, Predator Micro with a huge lens, which gives me a really nice picture when I'm flying in my FPV feed. And I've designed camera mounts for either of these sizes, so you can really stick there whatever you've got on hand or whatever you just prefer to purchase. As you can already see uh, here in front of you, I already designed a few accessories uh, for this frame. One of them, obviously, is a camera camera mount, then I also have uh, a se GoPro session uh, camera mount for it. Uh, I believe it will also accept a RunCam box or Foxy or whatever they came up with. I believe they share pretty much the similar dimension to GoPro session. As well as I have a neat 3D printed piece here, which can accommodate a standard VTX antenna, as well as a dual uh, receiver antenna. and. Uh, the buzzer over here. Because it is a frame with replaceable arms, I obviously designed a different kind of arms for it. And uh, here we have uh, 
three inch arms and the four inch arms uh, so you will be able to choose uh, what you prefer uh, the advantage obviously for three inch arms is just a bit smaller and for four inch arms you can pretty much use the same motors as here but get so much more performance on exactly the same setup and uh, with a very little difference in the weight of the frame so i really uh, like uh, four inch uh, like you know i have uh, essen four inch uh, which i often fly and enjoy it a lot simply because it offers you so much more power at virtually no extra expense and again in some cases three inch is a much better setup and you should consider for yourself what will work the best for you another awesome setup of this frame which i'm really excited about is uh, kalugo bumper edition uh, you can see it has a carbon fiber bumper everything is assemblable and uh, each individual part of this frame is replaceable which means uh, much cheaper repair if anything will break in case of the crash uh, it can also carry gopro camera as well uh, so it will look approximately like that which means you can fly very close to your subject you want to record close to the trees uh, people and whatever and at the same time avoiding possibility to cause any kind of uh, damage uh, to the subject you are shooting again obviously uh, this setup is not really uh, to fly at 100 miles per hour and crash into the concrete wall obviously bumper won't be able to take it it's not about that it's uh, simply to be able to fly close bump like this uh, fly back and continue your journey uh, and this serves a purpose perfectly i've been flying with it for a while and it's also based uh, on uh, the original uh, flex rc owl design just much lighter and much uh, more versatile uh, versus uh, the original flex rc owl the frame has been designed with the maximum strength and versatility in mind uh, which means that it is not a uh, feather light but uh, let's uh, put it on a scale and see what's the weight of it so it is uh, just uh, 68 and a half gram uh, it's not obviously light but it's not that heavy either uh, taking into consideration of uh, how many of uh, parts it has and as well as hardware uh, which holds all these parts the full dry weight of uh, the complete build is 172 gram and uh, with uh, 850 milliamps battery it gets uh, to 283 gram uh, which is again it's over 250 gram uh, and it is expected for this kind of setup uh, with a gopro camera it will be slightly uh, over 300 grams uh, but it flies very well you will see it uh, in the fpv video in a moment before we'll start flying this uh, awesome build uh, let me just um, show you a couple more features uh, of this uh, uh, frame which are fairly unique and uh, i'm sure you will love them uh, so one other feature which i didn't mention was this rear cutout uh, which accommodates up to xt60 uh, battery connector uh, which means that once you put your battery over here and connect uh, there is no way these connectors will go um, into the propellers since everything is just stayed nicely held together in this uh, tiny area and at the bottom uh, there is another uh, awesome feature which uh, you should know about uh, and it is uh, these cutouts over here so uh, the purpose of these cutouts is to be able to strap stuff to it uh, let me uh, remove this top plate and show you how I have this build set up I'm sure you will really love it it is very easy to disassemble this frame and repair in the field because uh, you simply have to remove six screws in order to access the electronics you don't have to remove any extra plates nothing really uh, 
So this allows you uh, to change parts as you need. All right, so I removed all the screws and uh, here it is. Check out this beauty. So in my setup, I've used a um, crossfire receiver and I put it at the front uh, and it is held by this zip tie. Uh, you should be able to see it over here. Uh, then I've got uh, just in the middle uh, a GLRC F428 stack, which is actually one of the best stacks I ever used. It's so reliable and it's already moving from one build to another build. It's already probably fifth build where I used exactly the same stack, no difference. Over here uh, I've put on a two screws uh, the third board essentially. Uh, it is uh, a GLRC TX20 video transmitter. <clears throat> it already seen so many crashes and I even replaced UFL uh, connector with just direct solder for the uh, VTX antenna. So as you can see, this frame is extremely versatile, super easy to build and maintain when on field or at home. It allows you to use dual 20 by 20 stack or as in my uh, interesting setup it you I even was able to fit essentially three boards it won't be possible to fit three full stack but in my case VTX doesn't require uh, much of the mounting and here I just used zip tire frame came accommodate micro and mini cameras pretty much any motor which can spin three and four inch propellers as well as bigger electronics which used to be a standard before all right without further ado let's go to the field and fly it all right here's a sample footage of kaluga 3 inch with gopro camera on top and 1050 milliamps 4s battery i was surprised how well it can fly in such a heavy setup taking into consideration that it is just three inch uh, the neutral handling of top mounted battery is so nice it just flies where you want it to fly i think ideally for freestyle uh, you will want to reduce uh, rates a little bit in order to get much smoother lines uh, but in my case it was flying uh, enough so i didn't bother much uh, changing uh, anything and i had a lot of fun uh, in the next clip we will look at uh, me flying it in kaluga bumper uh, setup where we will try to hit some gaps and to uh, bump uh, from the trees and stuff so I hope you will enjoy it um, let me know what do you think about it
All right, that was fun. I hope you enjoyed this video uh, and followed through till the very end. I really appreciate that. Uh, I will have links to all the products in this video in the description below. Uh, please leave a comment and let me know what do you think, how do you like uh, my latest design. If you have any questions, suggestions, feel free to leave them there. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, it really helps, I appreciate it. It shows me uh, your interest and uh, gives me lots of motivation uh, to work for you guys. On that note, uh, again, thank you very much and see you later.